Hello guys and welcome back to comment and it's time for the last part in this tutorial series but no worries the next Monday so that's in a week we are going to discuss about how to debug Raycast because it's very important for this system so if you want to adapt or change the system or whatever you want to do with the system please also watch that tutorial just to get more depth about how to debug it and how to see if something goes wrong or whatever also, I got a cold, so if my uh, voice is a little bit uh, funny or if I'm sniff sniffing a lot, you know why it is. I will edit out all the sniffing, but maybe I will forgot something. Um, about today, we are going to see if you are standing on this plateau and you're jumping off or actually walking off, you need to hang on this edge. So that's what we are going to do. And we're going to do that by creating a new function. It's almost at the end of the script. And we do that, by the way, at the end of the script, just for uh, that you can very easily see what's happening. Um, and very easily find all the functions because it's a logic order. But you can put whatever you want. Um, so here we're going to use Raycast hit hit too because we need to use it because what we are going to do oh, Raycast hit um, hit too what we are going to do is first we're going to check if you are currently or if there is any air in front of you so if there is if you walk forward will you just walk into a uh, well <laughs> inside the air actually just fall off the edge if you are going to do it so we need to find the place of the area. Um, of the plateau because if you remember out how this algorithm works is that it will first find out what is the position here of this uh, of a place where the uh, slope is well not uh, too high and where it uh, where there is a plateau so for example if you are now walking forward it will just first it did find out that here is a plateau then only after that it will find out the actual edge also for all people who are having a problem just very uh, quick in between if you have the problem that when you're jumping off and will just uh, directly go on again like uh, something like this i don't know how it exactly looked like but that is because the fall hand offset the uh, horizontal offset or the vertical offset is a little bit too high so you just need to make it a little bit you need just need to change it or the hand trans position you need to change that it's just something that you need to do with trial and error and just find out what the perfect values are i cannot help you with that i just gave you the values that are perfect for my situations but your situation can be a little bit different because you are using different values inside your whole project about here we're going to I have a factor three dot direction and that's going to be a transform dot forward minus so you're going down transform dot up divided by dot eight units um, then here we are going to create that uh, physics array cast and it's going to check if you are not seeing uh, or if there's not any crowned in front of you, in front of your feet. So physics dot whoops dot recast. And here it's going to be a transform dot position plus the transform dot rotation of course multiplied by the recast position. Alright, so now you're probably thinking why not using the hand trans position? You know that's what's the thing we always were using. But that's a fair way to calculate with that because you don't need to find out where your hands are but where your feet are also you don't want to um, use it from your feet because you will always hit something you want it to be it in front of you and not exactly beneath you so that's why we're moving it a little bit up at the same position where you will check if there is a wall in front of you if you re still remember that and just see if you are hitting something in front of you the floor then we also need the direction and the length of 1.6 um, I think I deleted it 
Focus position. Um, so this is the way to check it. But what if you're jumping? If you're at the moment you're jumping, you are currently just before it will see that you are not walking anymore because this function will only be called when you are jumping. But what if you're just at the moment you press the button jump, so then you are already a little bit more up, and it means that it will just maybe doesn't hit the ground and it means that it would think oh we can hang here so we need to make sure that you aren't using jump and use here get button because if you're just pressing it down we also don't want to use this this also makes it a little bit more clear that you are uh, that the player doesn't want to fall or hang on the edge but just want to fall off um, also, change the direction, that's something you need to do with try on error. If you're using slopes in your game, um, and you want to walk, that you can walk off there, you just need to find out what the perfect value here is, the perfect direction. Because if you make it, uh, if you make the um, direction too horizontal, and don't use like the vertical output like we're using here, but if you're just making it too horizontal, it will think that the uh, that it isn't that you're currently not on the ground and you cannot uh, stand on the ground well the slope is perfect to walk on so just make sure that the direction uh, always hits something if there's uh, if you just want to make sure that you are wa can walk at that position uh, if this makes sense I hope so otherwise just watch next Monday and I will I will explain it a little bit more about uh, this we're going to set the current sword towards climbing sword dot climbing uh, checking for climb start we are not actually using this uh, this current sort we're not going to put it anywhere like if current sort is check for climbing sort we only make sure that it is another variable another climbing sort than all the other climbing sorts so it isn't seeing it as walking anymore because you are not walking at this moment and it isn't seeing it as falling already because that means you are uh, already uh, you're already um, disabling every other aspect of walking around. So that's just something you need to keep in mind. Then we did it by last time, we did it that you find a plateau where you can stand on, uh, on and from that plateau the edge. That's exactly the same what we are going to do. And of course the plateau where we can currently hang on, the edge, is from the plateau where you are currently standing on. So physics.raycast we can just start at the transform.position make sure it's plus a new factor 3 from 0 1.1 1 .1 and 0 so we make sure that it's a little bit higher and we do this because if you start at the feet it will sometimes not hit the object beneath you because your feet are a little bit uh, below the earth sometimes you know sometimes it will get a little bit messed up and we just want to make sure that you always hit that object the plateau where you're standing on of course it will go down and of course the output is hit too and we've got a length 1.6 so we make sure that we always hit something that's very important and uh, spot layers because you don't want to uh, check everything. Then we're going to find a spot, and the raycast we're going to use is hit 2, of course, and the checking sword is falling. Now, the last thing we need to do is actually um, call this function somewhere, because we don't call it anywhere, so it won't work currently. We do that within the update stats around here. Um, I think you guys have standing here check for already I don't know check for climb start or whatever there we need to put a new if statement you need to check if your current sort whoops is climbing sort dot, uh, walking because you only want to check if you can fall off something if you are currently walking around because if you're not walking around it means that you are already using this system and you don't want to recheck for a place where you can fall off because that can only happen when you are walking 
something very logic, I think. Then we've got the input.cat axis, horizontal and vertical. And this isn't only vertical, even though you should think that when you're walking forward, you're only using the W key. But the um, third person controller we are using in this tutorial is based on that you can just uh, see it from every position, every angle, while you're just walking forward. So you can just walk forward while you are watching it from the side. So that's the thing you need to think about. Um, this is vertical and it shouldn't be zero because that means um, the input, uh, if it isn't zero, it means that you are using the W or the S key. And this is horizontal. And this isn't also isn't zero. Then you're checking for climb start. So now we are doing this. So even though you are at some point jumping and you are in the air, it will see it that you are not walking anymore. So it won't call this all and everything is going to be all right. Um, the only thing we need to do now is testing it. And uh, let's hope it will work. So uh, we are going towards here. We are jumping up everywhere. We are falling down. And as you can see, we can just go up and down. As you can see, the animations aren't ready, but I seriously cannot create animations. So I'm very sorry about it, but that's just not possible. I still hope you guys like this tutorial series. If you do, please leave a like or a subscribe. And I'll see you guys um, next week, probably, when I will explaining how to debug raycasting. See you guys soon. Bye.